Hi, this morning we're talking with Ryan Amborn. He's the owner of West Coast Auto in Atascadero. Uh, Ryan, can you tell us your story about becoming an automotive technician, including any other jobs or paths that you took uh, in getting here? Well, I started with uh, taking automotive classes in high school and getting ASC certified. And then uh, through college, I drove a tow truck and worked on cars at a shop. Uh, and then I ended up working at AAA uh, in the auto industry and ended up buying a, a business here. And now we uh, have technicians that work for me. And how many years have you been in this location? Uh, I've been in about 11 years. And what type of education do you need to be an automotive technician? Automotive technician, the best thing to do is uh, go to either a trade school or a community college and do the automotive program. Uh, are there any entry-level positions that would lead to becoming an automotive technician without formal training? Absolutely. Uh, there's a lot of jobs that uh, start out uh, in the shop as oil changing, uh, tire rotations, uh, and then progressing into brakes and diagnosis and heavy line. And what's the typical annual salary for an entry-level position as an automotive technician? Entry-level uh, technician would be higher than most careers. Uh, I would say uh, beginning at uh, 10 to $12. And are there any personality traits or s manual skills that are needed to become an automotive technician? Definitely organization um, and common sense are, are two of the main things and patience. And uh, what are the normal uh, work days and or hours in this location? Uh, automotive is usually uh, 8 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays. Okay. And uh, what part uh, of your occupation do you like the best or what's your most memorable moment? moment? Uh, I like the thrill of the chase. When a car comes in and they don't know what's going on, the customer doesn't know what's going on with it. and and you're able to follow the diagnostic trouble tree uh, and figure it out and, and, and know that you, you solved that customer's problem. And what's the worst moment you have being an automotive technician? Chasing that problem. But when you, you just can't get the car to act up, you know, it, it had problems before and now it comes in and it just doesn't want to act up on you and everything's operating properly. Those, those are the frustrating times when you just can't can't repeat the symptom. Uh, you mentioned ACI. What is that? Uh, well, it's ASE, Automotive oh, Service Excellence. ASE. And they, uh, they're they a testing and certification uh, program for technicians. And uh, when you go to work, what really fires you up? Uh, just knowing that you're there to help somebody and get their car is very important to most people, and that's their main way of getting to work and getting to their kids or getting home and being able to get them back on the road is, uh, is an exciting experience. And uh, would you be willing to discuss this vocation with young people who might be interested in pursuing this as a career? Absolutely. That'd be great. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to interview today, Ryan, and you can see other career interviews at our website, RotaryCareerHelp.com. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.